So the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has reportedly taken the first step toward easing federal restrictions on marijuana. Cannabis is currently legal in some form in nearly 40 states now, but federally it's still illegal and classified as a Schedule One drug, the group that includes heroin and meth. Now, last year, President Biden directed HHS to review how that drug is actually classified. The president did this when he pardoned thousands of Americans who had been convicted on federal charges of marijuana possession. Proponents of reclassification have asked it be a Schedule Three, a group that includes drugs like Tylenol and codeine. For more, White House correspondent Slynn Wang joining us once again, and our contributor and history professor at Johns Hopkins University, Leah Wright. Rigor, join me now. So, Selena, just walk us through this recommendation from HHS and why it's getting mixed reviews. Well, Kira, if this actually goes through, it would be huge because, as you say, this would mean that it would lower the risk category that it's in. Currently, marijuana is categorized in the same way that heroin and LSD are with no accepted medical use. The HHS is recommending that it be lowered to the category that ketamine and testosterone are in. Now, if the DEA accepts this recommendation, however, it does not outright legalize marijuana at the federal level. However, it would pave the way for it to become so, and it would also lead to some significant changes. For instance, this would likely lower the tax burden for marijuana businesses. It would make it easier for cannabis companies to get financial services. It could also make it easier for researchers to do studies on the health effects of marijuana. This also comes as marijuana legalization has been getting more broad bipartisan support. More than 20 states have legalized recreational use and 38 states have legalized it for medical use. However, mar marijuana advocates say that the state law has been lagging has been far ahead of the federal law and the federal law has been lagging significantly behind in that while this is a step in the right direction, it does not do enough. Kira. So Leah, what stands out to you about a possible reclassification here? Well, it'd be huge. Um, reclassification, you know, you can't understate the idea of reclassification from going to like treating marijuana as if it is equivalent to heroin or um, LSD or even meth is something that's that to something that is essentially uh, effectively Tylenol or even ketamine is makes a huge difference. The stigma around um, uh, marijuana and ca cannabis use will also change because the federal government has finally weighed in. Um, one of the things we also know is that it may provide a pathway not only to um, legalizing cannabis or marijuana, but also to decriminalizing marijuana and cannabis use. And that's the part that I think is most important because that's the part where marijuana has been uh, so devastating to so many Americans. Over a million Americans have been incarcerated under simple possession uses uh, since the war on drugs has happened. And so if the federal government can finally catch up with the rest of the United States, it would have a massive impact on the number of people both who have served time for marijuana possession and or are still incarcerated because of marijuana possession. So Selena, how does this fit into Biden's broader goals? Well, Biden did campaign on decriminalizing marijuana. Last October, he had announced that he was granting pardons to all people convicted of simple marijuana possession under the federal law. But again, as we've been saying here, reclassifying the drug does not decriminalize it entirely. The drug would still be illegal under federal law. So the expectation, though, is that if this does get reclassified, if it successfully goes through with the DEA, that it would at least lessen the punishment and could eliminate criminal penalties under the federal law. But again, many advocates say they need this to go a step further, and they think that marijuana should be removed from the Controlled Substances Act entirely. And I guess final thoughts, Leah, just from a civil rights perspective, you know, just the benefits from a possible reclassification of the drug. You touched on it a little bit, but maybe we could dive in just a little deeper before we go. Sure. So I think that there are two major benefits. One is because the states have largely, all but four states, have essentially decriminalized uh, marijuana and cannabis. There's, we've seen a booming industry in uh, in those fields, and people have been making a lot of money. But the majority of the owners of those businesses are white. And the problem is the people who are disproportionately punished for marijuana and cannabis possession have been black and brown people. So part of what this, this larger kind of um, pathway towards decriminalization does is actually broaden uh, the financial benefits of marijuana, but also open a pathway 
for people who are incarcerated under it and who have not been able to tap into that market to be able to tap into this. A big part of marijuana uh, decriminalization, the process of the federal government, is also restorative equity and justice for people who have been wronged. And this is a first step. It's an important first step because the federal government has been so uh, has been so slow to follow up with the rest of the country. But not only that, because the federal government has been so instrumental in actually locking people up for simple possession of marijuana. This is effectively the government saying, we acknowledge that we are wrong and we are ready to take those first steps to move forward. Leah, Selena, thank you both ladies. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.